Now, would you buy a car without giving it a test drive? I mean, buying a car is the second biggest investment most people make, so that kind of sounds a little scary. Now, if you're in the market for a new car soon and you don't know where to start, we have just the man to help you. Welcome from the floor of the New York Auto Show, Auto Traders car expert, Brian Moody. Brian, you said it's like not even working being out there. <laughs> well, listen, Tina, I gotta tell you, like if you love cars, it's just like being in a gigantic candy store, only you can't take all of it home. Believe me, I tried. They wouldn't let me. They would, it wouldn't fit into your pocket? Oh, man, I, I couldn't even mm, believe. <laughs> security and stuff. I don't know. They were kind of sticklers about that. So, no, I couldn't. Kind of sticklers. Well, Brian, we're talking test driving this morning, which is actually my favorite part yes. of uh, buying a new car is the test drive. You get to kind of feel it out. But why is it so important that you actually do that test drive? Well, it's important not only that you do it, but that you do it properly. This is an expensive purchase. For most people, it's their second most expensive purchase behind their home. And it could be a twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollar purchase. It might even be a ten thousand dollar purchase. Regardless, it's still a lot of money. And you want to make sure that you take that test drive on roads that are familiar to you. Take the time you need to feel familiar with the car. Make sure you check everything so that you feel like you made the right purchase for you. Well, I know since you're out there, I'm sure they've given us out maybe the top 10 cars that we should actually be test driving. Yes, so we have a list. Auto Trader has a list of must test drive cars. Now, these are cars that we feel are unexpectedly good, cars that might not be at the top of your list, but we think they should be at the top of your list. Cars like the Chevrolet Malibu. It's a great looking car. Most people might not be considering it, but it's fun to drive, great handling, has a feature we absolutely love, and that's Apple CarPlay. Once you get a feature like that, you won't want anything else. The Fiat 500X is another one, a great car inside and out. We also like the Honda Civic. We know this has an economy car, right? But this one doesn't feel like an economy car. It's fun to drive and has a nice interior. There's also the Lincoln MKC, the best compact luxury crossover money can buy. We just love this one. We also like the Subaru Legacy. This is one of those cars that might not be at the top of your list because you're thinking they make outbacks and foresters, SUVs and off-roady type things. The Legacy is great. If you're shopping for a mid-size sedan, add the Legacy to your list. And also, we have a car like this one. This is the Kia Sedona. We think this one looks the best for a minivan. It's a good-looking minivan. It's good-looking both inside and out. It actually drives more like a luxury car than a minivan. Well, Brian, I can see myself in all of those cars. So I know while you're out there, the big thing at all of these auto shows are the big reveals. Have there been anything good out there? Yeah, there's lots of great stuff here. A couple of unexpected cars, cars that we thought would maybe cost more, like, for example, the Maserati Levante. This is a moder Maserati sport utility vehicle, if you can imagine that. It's $72,000, which I know that's a lot of money, but we thought it would be even higher. There's also an all-new Nissan GTR. That's their super high-performance car. That's over $100,000. It gets more power and a more luxurious interior. Finally, there's the Camaro ZL1. Think of this as kind of the ultimate Camaro. It's got 640 horsepower. It's not for everyone, but boy, with that much power and that kind of aggressive look, you can imagine how cool of a car that really is. Oh, those are my kind of cars. Look, we had to cut some horsepower. We got a <laughs> Maserati in there. That's why you said it doesn't seem like it's work out there is because you get to hang out with these amazing cars. <laughs> exactly right. So, Brian, we, exactly. we, we want to know more. We want to get some more information. Where can I go to e get even more information after I let you go? For the full list of our must test drive cars and more information, you can go to autotrader.com slash must test drive. And there you can find test driving tips, what you should do on your test drive, and also see all the cars, not just the few we talked about here. So must test drive is one of those things that you can use as a resource, videos, photos, articles, and use that before you go on your test drive. Oh, make sure to go ahead and go onto the website, check those out, and then we'll go out and do our test drive. Brian, I'm going to let you go so you can go check out some more cars. Great. Yep, thank you. Thank you, Brian. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.